and here we have the uh, newly re-chromed handlebars back on they're like clamped uh, this is like this clamping piece here which clamps to the top of the frame and that <laughs> typically over engineered huge great piece of metal marvelous uh and uh but we're all back on we're all, all chrome now uh the handlebars and uh oh and i've got the uh chromed um side springs on for the forks so uh yeah well you know obviously everything's you know it's all just half done at the moment but um i think you know when everything's back together it will just uh It'll just be nice. It'll just be nice, but we'll see. We'll see. Right, uh, just got the uh, inlet manifold back on, which I've had uh, re-chromed. So I put that on with some uh, PTFE tape and uh, the world's largest spanner. So that's an inch and three quarter AF, but that's not the right size. I bought it. It was just a just that's the nearest size I could get. It was just a bit too small. And I ground down the jaws so that it fits. So I'm assuming it's a Whitworth size, uh, but I couldn't get a Whitworth spanner. So uh, there, and that that fits really, really nicely now. So I could I could a take it off in the first place and then b put it back on again. As I said, I've got PTFE on the threads and PTFE where the nuts join the manifold. So hopefully we'll have a nice airtight seal. Okie doke, so uh, I've got the exhaust uh, pipes on. It's been quite a job, you know, just putting the exhaust pipes on. It's just getting everything lined up and exactly in the right place and so on. But, um, you know, I'm really pleased with them. You know, now they're on. Uh, there's so many adjustments and this, that and the other, but uh, I think that's just about pretty, pretty perfect now in terms of you know, where they are. And also, you know, I love the fact that the downpipes are chrome now rather than stainless steel. Of course, how long they'll stay shiny up by the manifolds uh, is another matter. Uh, I imagine they'll go blue fairly quickly, but you know, hopefully lower down the pipe will be okay. Got the kickstart on, just need to get the rubber for that as well. And I, the heads are on, and um, and I've asked everyone I can think of what the actual torque is. To tighten the cylinder head uh, studs down with, but no one seems to know. No, you know, the owners' club or anybody seems to know. So the general consensus was do them up, you know, how you feel. Well, I looked on online, and most uh, bikes that, that have a cast iron head and a cast iron barrel is anywhere between thirty and fifty-five foot pounds which are mainly Harley Davidsons, old Harley Davidsons. So I put these in and done them up, you know, how I feel. And they've basically come out and then I've put the torque wrench on to, to see how much it actually was. And their works out, I've done them up tight with a normal spanner. And uh, I mean, you know, tight. And that equates to 25 foot pounds. So lower than all of the other um, sort of things on the internet, but uh, but they feel tight. You know that that feels tight enough to me. You know they're really tight on a normal spanner. Uh, of course, with the uh, torque wrench on, you know, it makes the easy work. But with a normal spanner, they they're very tight. So I'm fine. I'm leaving at 25 foot pounds. I'm I'm happy with that. Right. So luckily, just at the right time. Uh, this new information came to light, uh, mainly uh, thanks to uh, Wendy James. Uh, Wendy James, who contacted me um, sort of via the sort of Facebook matchless group, and said, uh, "Did I know that these uh, that there was a couple of articles existed on the initial rebuild of of my bike back in 2017?" Now I didn't know about this because. What actually happened was when I bought the bike, Frank, who, who was the editor of Real Classic magazine, he owned the bike, Frank Westworth. And when he bought it by accident, by mistake, he sent me the, what I now know is the third 
uh, part of this article. But of course, it doesn't say it's a third part. So I didn't realize that there were parts one and two. And he didn't realize he hadn't sent me parts one and two. So I didn't know they existed. But then Wendy alerted me to the fact and I contacted Frank and he sent me the, and he said, oh, I'll, I'll send you these. And, and suddenly I have uh, all the details of when the bike was rebuilt initially in 2017 uh, by uh, Richard Nagus, Richard Negus. Negus, Negus, um, and uh, so it's all fascinating. It's all fascinating stuff, you know, and a lot, a lot ties in. That's a broken uh, cam follower. That that was uh, I knew, I'd, I'd been told about this, but I didn't know there was an article about it. That's what broke when the engine was run without oil uh, some time before. So Frank had had the bike, I think, uh, sitting in his. Uh, sitting in, in his front room for a while and then he uh, he asked Richard to rebuild it for him so then and, and lo and behold so I'm halfway through uh, obviously I've read it all and going through if I can find it I, I, I probably never can um, but for a start look there's a there's a discussion of the cracks that were in the cylinder head and uh, saying that um you know, that the cracks were probably done when the inserts were put in for the spark plugs to take smaller spark plugs, but uh, they seem to be in the past. And obviously this was 2017, so seven years ago now. So we know that, uh, that er everything's okay. Um, and then, lo and behold, finally the cylinder heads were refitted with new copper non-asbestos gaskets. Those are the ones that failed me. And the bolts taut down in sequence of 30 pounds foot. So I now know that it's not actually 25, but it is 30 pounds foot. If Richard Nagus says it's 30 pounds foot, then that's right. So that's a, a real bit of luck because I, you know, I didn't know these, uh, these articles existed. Uh, as I say, Frank, uh, when I bought the bike, he sort of sent me this, which is the article when he gets the bike back from being rebuilt and, and, and rides it. Uh, he doesn't get on too well with it, it has to be said, mainly because it's not uh, it's not starting, uh, and and we know now that really that's mainly due to the magneto. Just to jump ahead a bit, I've now got it. I've now got it. Uh, there you are, baby. Uh, you are now uh, one uh, either first or second time kick start from cold, so. You know, I'm really chuffed with that. First kick or second kick every time. So, you know, that's uh, that's how far we've come now. But obviously there's a bit of a way to go before I end up back here. So, uh, anyway, that, that came just in time. And um, so I know that um, it's, uh, it, it's 30 foot pounds. And so I've tightened the head down to 30 rather than the 25 I had it at. And these articles obviously have been, you know, gold dust uh, for me. Fantastic. Okay, just to uh, clarify that one.